Tom, it is day two in the search for the body of Tara Grimstead. More than 40 GBI agents, police officers, and anthropologists trying to find her remains. Now, you'll remember the former beauty queen turned teacher disappeared from her home in Asilla in 2005. Her case gained national attention, and for more than a decade, it remained one of the state's most notorious missing persons cases. Well, then, just last week, the GBI announced they'd arrested Ryan Duke for Grinstead's murder. He'd been a student at the school where she taught, but a big question remains. Where is Grinstead's body? Investigators hope they'll find it in the Pecan Grove. They're searching in Ben Hill County. It's not far from Grinstead's home in Osceola. Fox 5's Portia Bruner has been in the Ben Hill County for the last two days and joins us live with the latest. Portia? Yeah, and Sinead just got off the phone with Randy Hudson. He is the owner of Hudson Pecans. He said that he uh, and his family, their hearts, their prayers, their thoughts, their condolences are with the family of Tara Grinstead. He also told me that he uh, and his staff are working very closely with the GBI and other local law enforcement agencies here to try to get this resolved and try to get the answers that this family so desperately needs. I can tell you in the meantime, though, GBI agents arrived here just after six o'clock this morning and they still haven't left. Drone operator Jim Cannell recorded this aerial footage shortly after GBI agents and other law officers made their way into the Hudson Pecan Orchard in search of Tara Grinstead's remains. Cannell says the focal point of the search appears to be about a half mile from the orchard entrance on Bowens Mill Highway. A woman who identified herself as a property owner spoke briefly to a Ben Hill deputy Wednesday morning, but told me she had no details about the investigation. Agents aren't commenting either, not about the grid search or what they've recovered in the last two days of digging and sifting. We searched a lot of areas. I mean, all out here, uh, all down below Osceola. James Wilcox was one of the many Ben Hill County residents who volunteered on several search efforts after the school teacher in Paget Winter vanished from her Osceola home in October 2005. It was a an experience that everybody was interested in to try to find her because uh, it was such a shock to hear that somebody that close to Osceola was missing. 11 years and four months later, he says the arrest of Ryan Alexander Duke was also a shock. GBI agents say Duke was once a student at Irwin County High School when Grinstead was a history teacher there. Even without a body, investigators say there was enough evidence to charge him with murder, aggravated assault, breaking into Grinstead's home, and concealing her death. Tips received since Duke's February 23rd arrest led investigators to this orchard, located only 10 miles from the pageant queen's home. I wonder how it come about that they finally found somebody. I can tell you that gag order is still in place, uh, imposed by a judge yesterday after the GBI made their final statements about this case. At this point, we're just waiting to see at what point uh, that convoy of agents and investigators leaves. I can also tell you I did ask Randy Hudson uh, if there was any possibility that any members of his family, extended members of his family, could be connected to this case. He simply said, I'll have to refer that question to the GBI. Reporting live from Ben Hill County. In South Georgia, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. All right.